A year of celebrations got underway on Tuesday night as the Salisbury Cathedral was lit up to mark a milestone year for them and the city. But what inspired these celebrations? Uh, Salisbury Cathedral once upon a time was uh, sited up on the hilltop at Old Sarum. And for a whole variety of reasons, 800 years ago, our forebears uh, made a very audacious move from the hilltop two miles down the road into this uh, wonderful, beautiful plain beneath uh, where five rivers meet, the, the plain that we all know. And uh, it's that move, that story that we're celebrating in Serum Lights and throughout this, uh, this anniversary year. And looking back to the past helped them decide on exactly how they wanted to mark this celebration as they step into the future. Our forebears needed a remarkable technical ingenuity to make their move. So the story of Salisbury has always been a story of cutting edge technology, doing something new. And so what we're doing is using 21st century technology to help people see their cathedral and experience it in a way they never have done before. So for the artists involved, what did it take for them to bring the cathedral to light and to life? We worked with the team here, we got images from the collections, we started to work our way through that and we started to create this exhibition of using light and sound um, from the raw bones of things that were here to really start to tell the story of where this cathedral had come from and also in light of how the city's working at the moment, as the city's moving forward, to tell that, uh, tell that story enough for that opportunity of giving people the thought of what is, what's what's next for this city and what's next for this cathedral over the next hundred years. But what challenges did they face along the way? The idea is really to create a collection of images as though you're walking through a, a fine art gallery uh, and then to recurate them within the space. So there's a lot of time gone into designing the show, the way the audience will walk through, the way it's curated. So the, the challenges actually are more about uh, how the people will interact with it than artistically because obviously this is the type of thing we do regularly. Uh, it's about making that narrative and it, for an enjoyable and immersive experience for the audience. And with it being the first night, visitors to the event were also treated when they went inside and found out that the inside of the cathedral was just as lit up as the outside. They will see their cathedral, our cathedral, as it has never been seen before. Stepping into the nave uh, is like stepping into a stained glass window. All the colours and images of our ancient glass will come to life and swim and dance around you. It's a, it's a quite wonderful experience. So Peter thinks that this is the right start for the year of celebrations. So for Salisbury 2020, uh, this is a, hopefully a great way to start the year, a year which is going to be full of some fantastic events uh, for people to enjoy on all different levels uh, and really bring home what this city is about from the cathedral right into the city itself, all different communities and just what a wonderful place people have to live in. But what does the Dean hope the public take away from this display of lights? I hope they'll be drawn into the story and I hope they'll come out of it determined uh, to discover what their own gifts of creativity are because we all have them and uh, if Serum Lights and if the story of Salisbury can be an encouragement and an inspiration to all of us then we really will have achieved something here. Ian Sheridan, That's TV.